problem 7 for unity feedback system g of s is given as k divided by s into 1 plus 0.4 s plus 1 plus 0.25 s here we need to find out marginal value of k and the frequency of sustained oscillations so till now they were giving the characteristic equation directly but here they have given the open loop transfer function characteristic equation is nothing but the denominator of the transfer function but here denominator of closed loop transfer function so but here the, they have given the open loop transfer function so how you are going to find out the uh, closed loop transfer function so that is g of s divided by 1 plus g of s into h of s so I will just write it as g into h so this is the closed loop transfer function if you equate the denominator term to 0 then this is called as characteristic equation so the de uh, denominator function of any closed loop transfer function is equal to 0 then that is called as characteristic equation so instead of that they are giving just a open loop transfer function means we need to convert that to the closed loop transfer function and find out the characteristic equation first later we can proceed with the root Hurwitz criteria so first what you are going to do is first find out what is characteristic equation so that is denominator of closed loop transfer function is 1 plus g of s into h of s is equal to 0 this is the characteristic equation so here this is a unity feedback system so feedback is 1 so instead of h of s you can write it as 1 so just find out what is 1 plus g of s into h of s so 1 plus g of s is nothing but k divided by this term is equal to 0 take lcm and simplify this so i will be getting s into 1 plus 0.4 s plus 1 plus 0.25 s square plus k equal to 0 after multiplication and lcm you are getting this term so the final expression for characteristic equation is 0.1 s cube plus 0.65 s square plus s plus k so here all the terms are present s bar 0 s bar 1 s bar 2 s bar 3 so we got the required characteristic equation for rh criteria so we can now construct the root array starting from s bar 3 to s bar 0 so make a column and start writing the coefficients in first two rows the first coefficient is 0.1 second one is 0.65 and third one is 1 and next one is k so now we need to find the, the element of s bar 1 row that is 0.65 into 1 is 0.65 minus 0.1 into k 0.1 k divided by 0.65 so 0.65 minus 0.1 k divided by 0.65 itself because we don't know the value of k that we need to find out next this is 0 so after that this term into k minus 0 divided by the same term so this whole term will get cancelled so the remaining value is k so we can write k directly so now how we are going to find out the marginal k value so by considering this whole term by equating this term to 0 so equate that term to 0 so we will be getting 0 0.65 minus 0.1k is equal to 0 so it's 0.1k equal to 0.65 so k equal to 6.5 now in, in this uh, expression so if you substitute k equal to 6.5 in place of k if you substitute 6.5 so you will be getting 0 value the first element of the s power 1 row will become 0 if the whole row becomes 0 so you should go for difficulty 2 then you need to find the auxiliary equation so now we already got the marginal value that is 6.5 first write down what is auxiliary equation that you will be getting so this is 0 through means 0 0.65 into s square so s power question is this leave that plus k 
so this is s square coefficient and this is s coefficient and this is s bar 0 coefficient so you can write 0.65 into s square plus k equal to 0 this is the auxiliary equation now you can easily find out the roots for s after substituting k value k is 0.6.5 substitute here 0.65 square plus 6.5 is equal to 0 find out what is s s square will be equal to minus 6.5 divided by 0.65 that gives minus 10 so s square is equal to minus 10 means s is equal to square root of minus 10 so that gives square root of minus 1 gives j square root of 10 gives 3.162 and s is in the form of plus or minus j omega so compare these two equations omega will be equal to 3.162 so omega equal to 3.162 radian per second this is the value for natural frequency and also you can observe here here all the values here all the values are positive values but in the auxiliary equation you have the imaginary roots so out of this three roots two roots are imaginary because plus or minus j 3.162 is a imaginary value that means in this s plane uh, consider this as a 3.162 pole i will mark this positive plus or uh, positive 3.162 j and negative 3.162 j so uh, you got two different roots present on the j omega axis that is the imaginary axis in the s plane and is there any sign change in the first column no all are positive so there are no roots in the right side of the s plane and also these uh, these roots are not repeated one so there is no plus 3.162 j twice so oh, there are only a single single roots which are present on the imaginary axis so we can say that the system is marginally stable because the roots are present on the imaginary axis and not on the right half of the s plane and also there are no repeated roots present on this imaginary axis so we can say that the system is marginally stable